Now to check back in with Neil Anderson at the new zoo. There are some changes at the children's zoo. Yeah, that includes a new elk. Neil tells us all about it. Hi, Neil. Well, good morning, guys. We're just over in the children's zoo, and we're kind of behind the children's zoo area where we talked about that new fencing going in. But in addition to that, we added a new area that attaches to our North American plains. And this is uh, an area we call us our elk uh, bullpen. And it's really important when you're working with large animals. You can see our elk is in the background right there. And, you know, he's certainly in a really growing a large rack right now. His antlers are, are getting big. And, you know, this is the first time we had a, a uh, bull elk in the zoo for oh, a few years. So what we ended up doing is looking at adding this section to the existing fence. Now we're almost complete. And what this will do, and training will begin with the bull elk, is in front of us there's going to be a gate. We'll be opening up the old fence in front here. That gate will slide. And what will happen is our zookeepers will train this elk, especially before he gets into rut. It's real important that the timing of this is done and uh, it's done so we got plenty of time to train. And we're going to train him to come in here. Also then we're going to go ahead down here. You can see it's, it's in two sections. This shifts from here so we're outside the particular bullpen so we do not have to enter with you know a large bull elk. We want to make sure everything that we do is outside the fence. So we can slide this over, we'll shift him in here and here's where he will feed. We'll get him comfortable then with closing this and then we can go out onto the exhibit. So in the past, the zookeepers, when we had a bull elk, we could never go onto an exhibit, you know, and do any work that we needed to, you know, especially during the rut. And the important part is, is you can see him out there. He's in velvet. He's got a huge rack. But here's probably one of the most dangerous times, you know, especially when you're wa working with a large antlered animal, is uh, when they're in velvet and it's just hardening up underneath that, they know that and uh, you don't, you know, there's an opportunity, you know, for problems. So what we do at this particular point, we don't go out with him. Um, we go ahead and uh, actually work everything from the outside. But this is going to give us an opportunity to do a lot more down here on the North American Plains. With that, back to you guys.